Hi folks, I'm Jeff Doyle. Welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. I've invaded my wife's kitchen today to do a little upgrade on my Woodman 45 caliber muzzleloader. I absolutely love this gun. I got it towards the end of last year and I put on a Leopold 2.5-8 VX3 scope. Today, I'm gonna to be upgrading to a Leopold VX3 1.5 to 5 with the custom dial system. So I'm not a professional gunsmith. I do have some, some tools that I'm gonna show you how I put it on. I think some guys, they go through and they lap their scope rings um, and other guys just slap it on. So you're lapping it on or slapping it on. Uh, the reason I'm looking to make a change is partially when I set this up, the eye relief is a little too small. It's a little uncomfortable for me, just a little bit too close. So I need to move the scope anyways. And I thought, great time to bring some consistency between the guns. So my Model 7 FS uh, in 308 has a one and a half to five. And I'm used to that scope. It's like, it's just like a reflex to bring that up and pull the trigger. I'm gonna have the exact same setup. And one of the reasons I've stuck with Leopold across all my guns is because of these scopes, these aluminum scope caps. They seal really well to keep the moisture out when you're tracking, when you're out there in the cold weather. And there's just nothing I've found that even compares to them. So uh, essentially to get these, you need to stick with Leopold. The other thing I'm gonna show you is I've got a scope and gun leveling kit. I'm gonna be using uh, a Torque Weaver uh, Torque screwdriver. And I've got a, just a multi-set of bits, a scale. I'm gonna weigh the difference between these scopes and understand kind of the improvement in lightness. And then a flashlight. Uh, my friend Ken uh, showed my dad a trick and we're gonna give that a whirl. So let's jump into it. So I've got the scope opened up and the glass is just beautiful on this. This is my first custom dial system scope. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna work out. And I have here a 964 bit. This is a uh, Torx screwdriver and I'm gonna set it to about 20 inch pounds of torque. Woodman recommends setting these to 17 inch pounds of torque for the scope caps. So pull these off. Okay, so the next step is actually to install this level. This level goes on the barrel. So pull the ramrod out. Okay, what you wanna do first is get this adjustment approximately level. You just eyeball it, okay? Then you can essentially loosen this guy up, okay? And then this one swings out and you can bring it down and clamp it on the barrel like this. So you want the gun to be approximately level when you clamp this on because you're gonna use some of the finer adjustment afterwards in order to really determine the true level of the gun. So we're gonna eyeball it right now. Okay. All right, tighten those down pretty good. You don't want it to bump into it moving. Okay, good. The next step with this is to get this little level. And what we're gonna do is find a flat spot on the gun. There's a flat spot on the receiver. There's also a nice flat spot on the scope and you can use the top of the scope rings as long as they're clean here. So I can put this on and what I'm gonna do now is adjust the gun until my bubble is right in between. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like. Like this. And now what I've got to do is come up to this one and then transfer this so it's level. I'll flip the camera around this way. Okay, so that's just about perfect. 
The camera angle might not show up, but it's dead center. Come back to this one, and this one is not dead center. So I'm gonna make a slight adjustment. Actually, I'm gonna check it here as well. And that is dead center there. I'll put it down on the receiver part. Check that, and that's almost dead center. So I'm gonna make another fine tune adjustment on this. So move it down a little bit this way. Okay, we're locked in. So what it's done is it's leveled the gun and the receiver, the scope on. Now I can take this off. I can move this around if I need to, but because I'm locked in, I'm in a good spot. I don't have to move anything. Now I'm gonna get this guy out, okay, take the tag off, and crank it back down. I'm gonna set it on here, okay, right out there. And now what I can do is grab this guy, put it on top of the flat turret, and rotate this until it becomes level as well. And go, perfect. Now, if I want to pick it up and move it around, I can because I've always got that level there. I'm going to go ahead and install these. And then, now, I went out and bought some Loctite before I did this, but then I read the manufacturer's instructions and with the women arms, they do not recommend Loctite on these. So I'm not going to put any Loctite on. Okay, again, 960 ports. And I'm going to adjust the torque down to 17. Here we go. Looking very even. So now I'm going to check my eye relief. All right, so I'm happy with the eye relief. That looks good. I'm going to just, just get this set to 17 pounds. Torque each one of these. I'm going to do it very evenly. So the scope caps, these are called alumina, and they're flip back scope caps. The uh, the standard eyepiece is the 59055, and the objective here is the 20 millimeter. So these just thread on. You can see the threads on there. And it took me a couple years to realize this, but this this is movable. So there's a little O-ring on the outside here, and when you tighten this down you can then uh, ultimately get a nice tight seal and then also get it at the right angle because you don't want it popping off on the side. So we'll start like this. Out for a minute. Just rotate like this. And then there's, this is knurled on the front here. So you kind of grab that and really tighten it down because you want it to make a nice, good seal. You don't want to come loose if it bumps something either. All right, that one's good. Now we'll do the standard piece. Okay, we are on that pretty good. Now we'll get the flashlight. All right, so what I've done is I've darkened our dining room here and I've reset up the gun right here with the mount and I have Adjusted this looks like I'm gonna have to tweak it just a little bit more to get that to come into level. Okay. We'll do that. Okay, bingo. So we've got this leveled. And this is the trick that my friend Ken showed me. I set the gun particularly in that spot because I've got this line on the wall. I've got my big four foot level. I put it on here. So that tells me. The carpenters who built this did a good job, and this is a nice level, um, nice level point for me to compare to. So now what I'm going to do is grab my flashlight, okay, and we can see that that is still the bubble's still level. I'm going to shine this through here, okay, and if we look up at the wall, well, if we can see that line, what I noticed is off to the right. It's a little taller than the left. So 
I grabbed my little level here, came back and checked this out. And sure enough, it has changed on me a little bit. So it's a good way to double check this. If you don't have a uh, level on system, what you can do is essentially get a level, put it onto the base of the gun, and then level it up here, and then you can always check it against a wall. Hi, buddy. All right, so I've just made an adjustment. I'm gonna adjust this one so it's, it's level. I can kind of torque on the gun, get that bubble correct. Set this up here, and Last thing I'm going to put in, I'll adjust this just right there. And we can see that those lines show up just re them. All right, so I've got everything mounted up here. The glass looks beautiful. Eye relief has improved. And last thing to do is go get this sighted in before the New Hampshire muzzleloader season. All right, so I just bore sighted this thing in at about 25 yards and looked down through the, the barrel. Didn't have to adjust the scope at all. And that's what I got. So I'm gonna go out to the max distance here for the muzzler at the range and uh, take three shots. Here we go. All right, so I took my three shots. I've made no adjustments to the scope. And I'm beyond surprised. I'll tell you why. Um, to get something that's so perfectly machined that the scope mount, the gun, the scope itself all comes together just in perfection, is just uncommon. Not something I would typically consider, you know, to be the case, but there you go. That's 50 yards. And at 50 yards, I want my shot placement a little bit high. That's going to account for some droppage out to 100 and even further droppage out to 200. So that's my three shot group. Zero adjustments to the scope after mounting it yesterday. Um, just unbelievable. Mark Woodman and his crew there, the work they do, just second to none. So, hey, Mark, great job. Great job to the women arms team. Thanks guys. We'll see you on the trail.